Is 2024 the year for you to buy a home? Well, let's take a look at the end of 2023 and see what's happened in the Charlottesville area and how that's going to affect the future of 2024 and for home buying and selling. As you can see, all of the home inventory has gone down in pretty much every city since my last weekly update video, which was back in November because I took pretty much all of December off to be with family and friends during the holidays. But now we're seeing a lot of our inventories down. And the reason for that is one, people didn't list their homes in December because they're like, well, why list in December? People are, are like me. I took a whole month off. So why are they going to buy in that month? Um, I mean, I didn't take a whole month off. I just didn't do videos. I was still working my ass off. Now, here we go. On to uh, just how your equity is if you are looking to sell. Your equity is still there. Since November, we still haven't seen any huge drop off. And the reason the inventory is also low is because January 1st, a whole bunch of homes go off the market because that's when listings expire for a lot of contracts between home sellers and agents. And then those go off and that's why there's been a huge decrease in um, our inventory. But that it does also show that a whole bunch of people also did buy homes before the end of the year, trying to get that home before the end of the year uh, to start the new year fresh, to maybe get a new investment property or something for tax purposes or what have you. Um, we are going to see in 2024 where I'm seeing it go, we're going to see some changes as far as between buyers and agents, but we're going to see home appreciations continue and probably just stay kind of a flat year this year.